Okay, so today I want to talk about my least favorite setting in Google Analytics. The reason I say it's my least favorite setting is that I have seen clients when I've done analytics audits really trash their data with it. And when you try to adjust that setting, where I think that there should be bells and whistles and alarms saying, are you sure you want to do this because this can really, really jack up your data? There's nothing like that. In fact, there's a recommendation of what you can put into that field that I've seen just replicated by clients. So I have a test view where I do all of my crazy testing and really trash my data. There's no way I would set this up in my regular view. So if you come to admin view, view settings here, you'll see what seems to be a pretty innocuous setting. It says default page. And if you hover over this little question mark, it'll say enter the default page for your domain so that multiple URLs that point to the same page are treated as the same entry in your reports. For example, if example.com and example.com forward slash index.html both open the same page, you can enter index.html in this field. And so I can't tell you how many times I see index.html in this field, or I'll see index. whatever their site uses, PHP, ASP, ASPX, etc. And because users just don't understand what they're supposed to put in there. So let me explain First of all, what the purpose of this is for. So let's say you have a site like mine and I'll just open up resources. And let's say that forward slash resources forward slash opens the same page as forward slash resources forward slash index.php. So if I put that in there, it's not going to open the same page or some sites will automatically redirect. So if I put in index.php or index.aspx, whatever your site uses, then it will automatically redirect to resources. If on your site that redirect doesn't happen, that's when you have this option of using the default page. I'll tell you why I still don't like this option because if you put in index.html or index.php or whatever it is. So I put in index.html. Let me show you the impact of that on all of your content reports. So your all pages, content drill down, landing page, exit pages, basically everything under behavior site content. Here's what will happen to that. Notice how if I look at all of my blog posts, they now all end in index.html. The reason for that is that Google will look for any URL that ends with a forward slash and will append index.html to it. So notice here, this used to be just forward slash, but now is forward slash index.html. If I have a page that doesn't end in a forward slash, let me see if I can find something kind of obscure that ends with something else. Because most of my pages end with a forward slash. So here you can see product ID equals 5348. Now in this instance, it doesn't append index.html and that's because this URL doesn't end with a forward slash, but every URL that ends in a forward slash is going to have index.html appended to the end. And what happens is if you click on this target, all of these pages are now going to 404. So I've seen this happen it's pretty tragic to your data because obviously you don't want that to happen when all of these URLs are invalid. So if your site doesn't redirect forward slash index dot whatever to the canonical URL, you should really set that up on your server to have those pages redirect. It also impacts SEO. You don't want that duplicate content. But let's say your developers are like, hell no, we're not fixing that. We have canonical tags in place. So no, it is what it is. Like I said earlier, I still wouldn't recommend this fix. I think it's just a really, really bad solution. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that and click save. And anytime you change something like this, you want to make sure that you note that in your annotations. So I would go into here, make sure today's date is selected. For me, it's May 6 here. And I would add in here, removed 
default page. And I'll just let myself know it used to be index.html. Of course, you want these annotations shared. Okay, so the fix I would recommend instead would be to use a filter and we'll just say remove index.html. We are going to do a search and replace filter. So what the search and replace filter does is Google asks you, what field do you want me to look in? We're going to look in something called the request URI, which is just geek speak for the URL that shows up in any of your content reports. So all of these are request URIs. They show up as page or landing page, but it's a request URI. And we're going to say, look at, at the request URI and search for forward slash index.html and replace that with just forward slash. So this is going to find all the instances of forward slash index.html and it's going to replace it with just forward slash. Similarly, you could just put in index.html and just replace it with nothing. So either of these solutions should work. I haven't tested this, but it's the same principle. It would just remove every instance of index.html. Doing the forward slash is probably going to be a little safer. And it probably isn't going to matter, but then you can verify the filter and it's going to show you the difference here. So we're not going to go into all that. And then you're just going to click save. So that's how I would recommend uh, taking care of that. As with all of my tutorials, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments.